Hello and welcome to the third video in this series for beginners programming a tile puzzle game using Cocos 2D and iOS on the iPad. So in this video we are finally going to get started with looking at a little bit of Cocos 2D code but before we do that I just want to talk a little bit about the concept behind the way Cocos 2D actually works. So using Inkscape I've got a window prepared so I can show some diagrams and the way Cocos 2D works is it's based around what are called scenes and the class is called a CC scene and a scene can simply be seen as a frame in which you display things so pictures, sprites, labels, things like this and the way scenes work is you could have for instance in your game something like when it starts up it has a splash scene and then you could have another scene in your game that once the splash screen's finished then instead of having the splash we might have then the menu scene and then inside the menu in this scene the user might then select that they want actually to go to level one in the from the menu so you'd have another scene which is then representing level one in this way so then what you've actually got is lots of different scenes and Cocos 2D manages these scenes using something called a director and the director is a class called CC director and it uses something in the code called a singleton pattern which you don't need to worry about at the moment it basically means only one of these exists whilst the application is running and this is then used to actually direct between the various scenes so at the start the director will be told please display the splash scene and then it will be told to display the menu scene and then if the user selects the appropriate button it will be told to come down and display the level 1 scene and it only ever displays one scene at a time and the director as I said is used then to switch between scenes so in a scene itself I'll just move the director out of the way and the rest of this stuff in the scene itself I said imagine this is a window frame what you then have on top of the scene is what's called layers and they are the CC layer class in this format like so and you can have as many layers on a scene as you want so we could have another layer like so and what layers are they're simply what's used to actually display your images and labels and sprites and things on the screen so the scene itself can be seen as a frame the layer can then be seen as the paper upon which you actually draw something and you have more than one layer as I said so you could for example on this layer here draw the background picture and you could then on this layer here draw say a car that you've got moving around the screen and then you could on another layer let's say you could then draw the road let's say that the cards based on but you might want to have the car actually in front of the road so you'd arrange it a little more like this and so on and the layers are drawn in a certain uh, display order so first of all the backmost layer is drawn then the next one and ne the next one so anything on here on this third layer will cover up whatever whatever's drawn on the previous two layers and the way you tell the software or the program in which order these layers should be drawn is actually by using a property called what's called a Z index and the Z index runs in well if you set this layer here as a zero you would set then this one as a one to be displayed in front of this layer and this layer as a two and so on so the Z index determines the order in which the layers are placed on top of each other so that's basically a schematic of how Cocos 2D works and all you need to keep in mind is there is one director there are various scenes that you program and these scenes then contain layers so let's now go into Xcode and let's actually create a new Xcode project and I'm going to select down the left hand side here the Cocos 2D template type and Cocos 2D iOS click next and I'm going to call it tile tutorial my goodness why can't I suddenly type and I'll put it in a package called 
bluefever.tutorials, it doesn't matter what you name this really, just make sure you've selected device family iPad only. Click next and you'll be asked then to select what directory you actually want to save this in and I'm going to save this in this one here and then click create. And there'll be a little bit of whirring because this with Inkscape running Camtasia and a few other applications is churning away this computer. But eventually what happens is a template working application will already be created for you in Xcode with some code files down the left hand side here. You can see already in Xcode here that we've got application icons and some launch images and these make up the current application. So the last thing to do is actually run the application. So I'm actually going to click on the build and run the current scheme and it's going to take a couple of seconds, like I said, because my computer is running slowly, recording at the same time, to actually compile the source files here. And once it has, it'll start up the simulator, iOS simulator, which is, I've just seen the icon bouncing starting up now. And now the simulator, you can see here we've got our first scene, which is a splash screen with Cocos 2D on it. And now you can see we've changed to another scene with a Hello World label and a couple of other labels, achievements and leaderboards. And that's it really. Down the left hand side we've got some statistics being shown, the most important of which is the bottom number, which is the frame rate in frames per second. And that's all there is to it. Starting the project from the template, template has already given us a working application with a couple of scenes. And in the next video we're going to start I'll just go up to the loft, top left here and press stop to stop the application. And in the next video, as I said, we'll start actually taking a look at the code that's already been created for us to run this little simple application. So thanks very much for watching. I hope that introduction to the way Cocos 2D is basically structured made some kind of sense. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.